digging and digging and digging. I found replacements with inside clips and the grease fitting on the cap. At the beginning of this video, I'm going to give you trouble free information. You don't have to watch the whole video, it's not going to be a super big install thing, okay? But I'm going to give you the information at the beginning of the video what the number is. Four thirty dash twelve. Four thirty dash twelve. The application says ninety to ninety four Nissan truck with staked in U joints. And you've got to get this U joint from Rockford Drive Line in Illinois. Okay, it's a special company that makes these U-joints. All right, Xander, where are we going today? Where are we going? Today, we are going, right now we're going to get Sadie some dog food at the co-op. Then we're running to Harbor Freight to get a shop press. Heavy shop press. This thing weighs about 190 pounds. Are you going to help me put it in the truck? Okay. And then I got to go get some beer. Okay. All right, folks, Project Sin here. What are we working on, Sadie? What in the world has got going on here? All right. All right. Hey, so I'm afraid Sadie's not gonna be out here much longer because it's really hot outside, okay? All right, what are we working on? Something that has been a very, very big pain in my behind. And some of you will run into this. And I had a heck of a time finding information for this on the, on the web. This is a drive shaft out of a 1990 Nissan pickup. Two wheel drive with a manual five speed transmission. Okay, two piece drive shaft. And it has staked in U joints. Staked in U joints. Most drive shafts have clips, either inside clips or outside clips. That means you can change your U joints out fairly easily. However, Nissan on this particular model decided to take a cheap route and make it staked which means they're non-serviceable. You can't change the U-joints out. Instead of changing the U-joints out, you have to change the whole drive shaft. So instead of one, two, three U-joints that cost 10 bucks, so you'd be looking at $30, anywhere from 30 to $45 to change the U-joints out, you gotta buy a $500 drive shaft. That's not very good for a poor man, okay? So, somebody has replaced two of these staked in U joints in this drive shaft in the past. Well, 
the rear one went out and started vibrating its butt off. The yoke actually broke some and the U-joint was uh, all busted up. So I had to change it out. I'm going to have to change it out in the process of changing it out. Uh, this truck has been down for almost a week and a half now. I parked it, said, okay, I got to get U-joints. How hard can it be? Well, they don't have them at O'Reilly's. They don't have them at Rock Auto. They don't have them at AutoZone. Couldn't find them at CarQuest. Didn't have them at Napa. After digging and digging and digging on the internet, I found uh, on the forum somebody mentioned that yes, which I already knew that you could replace them because somebody had replaced two of them already. Two of them had inside clips, which means they weren't factory. Digging and digging and digging. I found replacements with inside clips and the grease fitting on the cap. At the beginning of this video, I'm going to give you trouble free information. You don't have to watch the whole video, it's not going to be a super big install thing, okay? But I'm going to give you the information at the beginning of the video what the number is four thirty dash twelve four thirty dash twelve the application says ninety to ninety four Nissan truck with staked in U joints and you've got to get this U joint From Rockford Drive Line in Illinois. Okay, it's a special company that makes these U joints. They do other things too. Other vehicles like some Hondas and such have staked in U joints. They sell them. Okay, so I had a heck of a time finding the number for this. So if you search on YouTube for this Drive Line Drive U joint, you're going to find it here. I'm going to save you some trouble, hopefully. So, you saw in the beginning of the video, we went to Harbor Freight. I tried pounding this, this U-joint out with a hammer. Not going to happen. Not in my case. I'm not strong enough. So, I had to have a press. I went up to the local mechanic store, uh, mechanics, and they had a press, but they still weren't going to touch my drive shaft. So, I went to Harbor Freight today. Um, I was gonna originally get a 12 ton press. Uh, Harbor Freight has it for 130 bucks. Well, they had a coupon for the 20 ton press, which made it $144, normally 189. So 14 bucks more, I got a bigger press. Uh, I conned Stephanie into letting me buy a tool. Okay. So, there's some good out of this. I get a tool. Alright. I might have to break something next month and maybe get a plasma cutter or something cool. Alright. So, I'm not going to go... This is going to be like a two-for-one video. I'll do a review on this press, Harbor Freight 20-ton press. I'm not going to show you putting it together. I got to put it together. Uh, maybe we'll punch out this U joint and put one in just so you can see what you got. All right. All right. Now then, all I've got you here. Remember, when you're pulling this drive shaft out, to mark everything. I've got marks. They're just on the other side. All right. Line your drive shaft up before you pull it out of the truck. And before you start pulling U joints out, be sure to put one mark, one mark, one mark, one mark, one mark. When they balance these at the factory, you've got to have them just the way it come out of the truck. Otherwise, it could be unbalanced. If you take this shaft here and it gets flipped over, it may be unbalanced, okay? Now then, like I said, the back two U-joints were previously replaced. 
and whoever put the drive shaft back in had it slightly this is all supposed to line up so this yoke right here let me see if I can get it on camera this yoke here is supposed to go straight line straight line straight line it was slightly out of kilt somebody took this uh where are we at here took this and was slightly turned so it wasn't lined up perfectly I'm gonna go ahead and reline it up the best I can but uh so without further ado let's get this pressed together I'm not gonna show you putting it together and we'll go from there hope this all works out All right, folks, <clears throat> so things did not go as planned. I was wanting to show removing a staked in U-joint and replacing it. That did not happen, okay? I got the uh, shop press put together, it took maybe half an hour. Wasn't bad with the exception of being in that shipping container in 96 degree humid weather. Uh, I was sweating pretty bad at the end of it. Came in, cooled off, and went outside to get started. I'm going to tell you, it was a booger. That drive shaft fought me. That drive shaft has fought me the entire time. Not been easy. Okay? A little bit of cursing and throwing stuff, and it was not pleasant. All right, so none of that got on video. It took a lot longer than expected, and it was hot and miserable out. I worked till dark last night. Uh, I had gotten, all I had to do was press one more U-joint out. The rest of the U-joints were already out. I bet I spent close to three hours all together on one U-joint getting it pressed out, okay? Um, I got one side done. All I had was the transmission yoke to do this morning. I got up bright and early. I couldn't sleep that well last night. I was sleeping and dreaming all about that drive shaft. Five o'clock rolled around. I was up and out there. Um, and it was dark. I could not see in the shipping container. I don't have any lights in there yet. So I had a flashlight rigged up uh, pointing on that shop press trying to press some joints out. I pressed the, the pressing was no problem. Press did its job. Press the, press the joint as far as you can press it. Um, the rest of the way that makes that cap come out close to half an inch and the rest of the way you gotta use channel locks or vice grips and uh, wiggle that cap out the rest of the way. They weren't going. They were not going. I ended up having to take a piece of metal and welding it to that cap to get a good grip. I could not get a good grip on that uh, thing with vice grips. I had to weld that bar on there and wiggle that. I fought that thing all day, so that did not get on video. I'm sorry. Needless to say, if you got a staked in U-joint drive shaft, it is going to be a pain in the butt more than likely. Okay? But, uh, with a lot of willpower and elbow grease, and I didn't get any busted knuckles, but I was pretty close. We finally got it together, got it put back in the truck, and I took it for a test drive today. Felt okay. I haven't got on the interstate yet. That will be the ultimate test. But, the main thing of this video is for you, if you're going to be a hardhead and not go get you, they make a replacement drive shaft that has serviceable U-joints in it, but it's $500 plus dollars. I did not want to spend $500 plus dollars. You can do it. It is just a pain in the butt. A lot harder than just a regular clipped in U-joints. 
But if you end up doing it, 430-12 is the part number. 430-12. It come from, I think, on the I think the website's motorsports something or other. I'll put a put the website down below, but it's the Rockford Driveline Company. That's a good company. I used those a long, long time ago. Long time ago, I used to do drive shafts for a living. That's all I did. That was my job, repairing and building drive shafts. We didn't do Nissan drive shafts because they were a pain in the butt. I took this drive shaft up to a local mechanic. He said, nope, not gonna do it. So he said, you have to buy a new drive shaft. So he's, he's like, no. So if you're gonna do it, it's gonna be a job, especially if all you got is regular old tools I didn't have a vice or nothing like that. That's why I went and bought this press. Even then it was a job. 430-12. Be prepared for some work. Sorry this wasn't that great of a how-to video. At least you got the part number. It took me almost a week and a half just to get the right U-joint. Thanks for watching.